how does how does someone start an organization like this? I mean, this is a very broad and kind of ambitious goal for you guys to set out with. Um, and I mean, I would have no idea where to even start. Like, I, what I, I mean, are people talking to philanthropists, or is this something that you need to have a kind of a constitution and set of goals first, and then reaching out to these different goals and connecting to labs? Yeah, well, I can tell you a bit about how it evolved. I mean. I think it first evolved from a few specific examples where we had a very strong thesis that this was needed. So, so myself and Sam Rodriguez, who had actually been an MIT mm -hmm. physics grad student a few years ago, um, we were working on certain types of projects around brain mapping technology and so on in the in the academic setting, and you know contemplated doing startups or other things. But we we eventually and we even got. DARPA type grants to do mm -hmm. it through through this agency called IARPA, the Intelligence ARPA, um, and we sort of developed a strong thesis that is at least one example of an FRO. And then the question was, really, is there a general category there? Are we really trying to fundraise for one single project, or are we actually trying to elicit a category? And so, the way it worked is that uh, I got a fellowship um, through this. Entity Schmidt Futures. Um, it was just at that time just funding me to basically go and do a lot of interviews with scientists and basically ask them, you know, what are, what are the projects that not only you don't have funding for, but you can't contemplate getting funding for, or even if you had funding, you couldn't contemplate organizing the team or getting the right staff on the team or or managing them in the right way to actually produce that result and. So we interviewed a lot of people, and the purpose of those interviews was was twofold. I mean, one one was could we show the results of those to the to the government, basically, and say, hey, you know, government agencies should start creating a funding mechanism to do that. And the other was to show it to philanthropists. And we didn't know what the outcome would be, um, but it has turned out that this concept of an FRO, more so than any very specific, you know, legal embodiment of it or what have you, it's it's good for eliciting problems, right? Just as, you know, if, if you go to Y Combinator or something, Y Combinator's website is a very good way of eliciting startup ideas. Um, going and talking about FROs is a very good way of eliciting these sort of mid-scale projects that might be a struggle to fund or organize in some other way, even potentially struggle for something like DARPA to organize them in some cases. And so we've elicited a lot of those and then Basically, we then got philanthropic interest in a couple of them, but we were lucky that uh, Schmidt Futures, uh, both actually Schmidt Futures and the Sestera Institute, um, and maybe others in the future, are interested not only in particular problems like, say, climate change or, or Alzheimer's, but they're actually interested in this question of institutional innovation. So they're willing to make a kind of joint bet on specific projects, but then also um, exploring an institutional model and asking whether we can scale some of these ideas that we've been asking about. I was really inspired by Sarah Kearney at Prime Coalition and Elon Gurr at Activate mm -hmm. because they're both working in the climate space and they're working in hard tech and climate. But rather than picking one project, they were trying to figure out how to enable a whole series of projects, one through fellowships and one through uh, like catalytic funding. Um, and so I found that really inspirational in, in so how do we how do we create this institutional change in more than just the single project we're interested in? And how do we enable other people to to do it more easily without sort of like taking a large risk and having to come up with a new institutional model, creating a framework that other people then could take a smaller step forward in? Mm -hmm. 